What's up guys? Dave Mate, Mind Pedals. Let's get this going. Let's have a little discussion, why not? That's what I do. Have discussions with you guys, with the world, with myself. See what happens. Salud. Potential, potential, potential. We often hear this word, potential. In fact, I think it's a very inflated word. I think it's overused. I think it's, it's almost become a cliche. We say, you have so much potential. Your parents say that to you. Your friends say that to you. Your teachers say that to you. Your pastors and deacons and politicians say that to you. You have so much potential. But when that statement's made open-endedly, as it almost always is, what does that really mean? It means almost nothing. Potential. Saying you have so much potential is like planting uh, an acorn, right? An oak tree. Planting an oak seed and saying, wow, you have the potential to be a maple. You have the potential to be a redwood. You have the potential to be... Uh, uh, a Sitka spruce, but absolutely not. It only has the potential to become what it is, an oak tree. That's all it can become. An acorn can only become an oak tree. It cannot become a maple. It cannot become a redwood. It cannot become a Sitka spruce. It cannot become uh, a Shasta daisy. It cannot become anything else other than what it is. That's the only potential it has. So, when someone says, you have potential, what does that really mean? Does that mean you have the potential to become anything? I think that's what most people are thinking in their heads, or they're not even thinking at all when they say that. You know, does that mean that somebody has the potential to become an engineer, or a scientist, or a biologist, or a writer, or a painter? Okay, now, yes, we could say yes, let's talk about it whimsically, let's talk about it Metaphysically, let's talk about it romantically. Yes, you can become anything, anything. But the reality is, bullshit. No, you cannot. I'm never going to become a rocket scientist. Never. Now, do I have the potential? Okay, yeah, I have the potential, sure. But I know how my mind works. Number one, my mind doesn't work that way. It doesn't work with, you know, uh, extremely advanced mathematics. It doesn't work with sitting around all day and doing calculations. That's number one. Number two is I don't have the desire. Without the desire, there's no power. This word potential, it comes from the Latin, uh, what is the word where it comes from? It comes from potentare, uh, I think that's the actual Latin, or potente. And this just means power. Potential means possibility. It means uh, potente, which is power. It means possible, which means capability. So potential means power. In order to have the thrust, the power to do something, I must have the desire. I must have the natural disposition for that thing. So I think that we have to be careful. Because we tell people they have the potential. So we tell the person who's horrible at math that they have the potential to become the rocket scientist. So that person spends countless hours, spends months, even years in school, someone that has no natural disposition for mathematics, someone that has no desire to become a rocket scientist, but because their parents said you have the potential to become the rocket scientist, they spend waste their entire lives trying to reconfigure their brain, trying to reconfigure their heart to build this desire, to build this know-how to become a rocket scientist, and yet they can never become the rocket scientist. And even if they do, which is possible, even if they do become the rocket scientist, their heart is never really fully in it. So what are you really doing with your life? So we have to be careful when we think about this whole concept 
because potential is just a concept really when we use this word potential it's a framing the word concept means cage it means frame it means situation it means state it's just a concept but really I believe through my own experiences and through you know living this short instance of a life right now I see that potential is really more of a unity it's really more of a singular thing you have the only potential to be what you are and to get better and better and better and more openly manifest what you are right now that's the potential the acorn will only become the acorn will only become the oak tree but that oak tree can grow it can grow very large it could produce a lot of fruits it could be around for hundreds of years it could, it could provide shade it could provide food it can provide habitat it could, it could do infinite things this oak tree but the oak tree is only the oak tree it could produce oxygen it's an amazing thing and you are only what you are so when someone tells you that you have potential you do you have potential to fully blossom and to open up and expand and to express yourself but you are what you are now you could play all these other games and say okay well I'm gonna learn some trade uh, I'm gonna learn how to computer program I really don't care about it too much but I'm interested I could learn it I'm gonna learn to become a medical doctor I'm gonna be learn to become a biologist yeah these are all games that you could play you know uh, but there's always a determining factor. There's always a determining factor to see if you are truly into something. Which means it's truly you. If your heart's in it, you just feel it. You just know right. You just know that it's right. You know, I would say most people out there get this whole thing messed up. They go to college. They got this whole thing in their mind. Potential, potential, potential. My mom said I have potential. My dad said I have potential. I could take any subject I want. I could take math, I could take science, you know, liberal arts. That's great. Go ahead and explore. You know, you have to be lost to find yourself. Fine. But once you come to terms, which is something that you already have known for millennia before you even came here, once you remember what you were here to do, then you must go into that headlong. You must dive into that and explore that one singular thing now you may say Dave why are you talking in such limited terms why are you talking in this almost sort of absolutism well I'm really not because at the end of the day right now I believe in games there's all games out there you could play all these games you know I play games you know uh, I study a lot of different things these are all games that I play that's fine life is full of games life is a game But, I always come back to this in my videos, I believe in the mission. I think that we're here for a reason. I just do, I feel that. I think that we're here for a reason. I feel that we have to carry out our missions, whatever they may be. And that mission, therein lies your passion. Therein lies your potential. Carry out your mission. Carry out your potential. Explore your potential. Open it up. Flower your potential. And in doing so you gain power remember potential means power potente power possibility so be careful on both ends on the receiving end and the giving end when you tell someone they have potential you know you're better off telling them that listen man I know you love to paint I know you're a painter so paint 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 your heart out Fine, go work a job if you need to. Go do whatever you got to do to make that money, money, money. This society, damn, goddamn money. Make it. Do that. But stay true. Stay pure. If you're not dealing with purity, potential, possibility, power, if you're not dealing with these things that are all related, then you're on zombie mode. And remember, on the receiving end, when you hear someone say, okay, Dave, carry out your potential. You have so much potential. Interpret that or transpose that as I got to just keep on doing what I know how to do, what I love 
doing, what I love waking up for, what I love living for. I gotta go deeper into that. I gotta go deeper into myself. So guys, thanks a lot for listening. Short little video about this word, potential, this idea, potential. Let me know what you think. And we're just gonna keep these videos going. This is Dave Mate, Mind Pedals. Salud. Ciao, ciao.